is 9 p.m. in RTD. It's time to English new edition for tonight. Headlines we have. The People's Rally for Progress and Chinese Communist Party for the Strong Ties. For the international scene, a flood in Europe, a flood in Slovenia and southern Austria. Welcome to our newsroom. Uh, the Djibouti delegation at the 9th Francophonie Games uh, took part in a number of competitions in Kinshasa, including athletics and judo. Judo entered the medals, the medals uh, dance. Uh, Young prodigy Sasu Hassan Mohammed proudly won silver in Team Judo Silver Medal. Remember that young Sasu is well supported by his staff and his family and benefits from an EOJ scholarship. This is the nice medal obtained by Djibouti at the Kinshasa Francophonie Games. Good luck to him and congratulations on his exceptional performance. The Francophonie game were a great success uh, for Djibouti's athletes who impressed in the athletics uh, and judo discipline. They won a total of nine medals, of four of them gold. Momin Bourguele was the great uh, hero of the games, winning two gold medals, uh, his first triumph in the 10,000 meters event, uh, then repeated the feat. Uh, by winning gold medals in the half uh, marathon, his exceptional performance was hailed by all. Mohammed Ismail Ibrahim, known as Fatah, also shown winning two gold medals. He distinguished himself is, uh, in the 5,000 meters and 3,000 meters table chase uh, event. Jamal Abdi Diriye and Abdul Razak Hassan Giri, two other hopefuls uh, of Djibouti athletics, also did their countries proud. Jamal won a silver, silver medal in the 10,000 meters event, while Abdul Razak took bronze uh, medal in the 1,500 meters. Jamal then added a bronze medal in the half marathons to his uh, collections. Uh, finally, younger Samia Hassan Noor also impressed winning bronze medals in the 10,000 meters event. Her performance was a fine continuations of the Djiboutian team success in Kichasa in Judo. The young Sasso distinguished himself with a silver medal in the team of Judo event. These Francophonie games were a real pride and honor for Djibouti. The athletes gave their all and were rewarded by these medals. They proved, they proved that Djiboutian sport is capable of competing with the best. The success of the ninth uh, Francophonie Games in Kinshasa opens up a great prospect for our athletes in the international competition to come. In addition to this competition, some of our sportsmen and women are aiming for the Olympic competition scheduled for 2024 in Paris, France. The Democratic Republic of Congo, over 3,500 participants at the ninth uh, game of the Francophonie, despite postponements, last minute work, and a worsening security situation in the east uh, of the country. The Congolese government uh, managed the, uh, the, to organize the ninth games of Francophonie with over 3,500 participants. Uh, Zaina Mina, director of the International Games Committee, believes that the Democratic Republic of Congo has risen to the challenges despite all the difficulties in country, the worries, all the uncertainties uh, surrounding these editions and the two postponements. Uh, we had a participation rate which is uh, approximately on a par with the Abidjan edition. It's uh, the previous editions with, uh, which took place in Abidjan. So we have a rate of 3,500 to about 33. 33, that's uh, the final balance. Uh, she declared a total of 37 uh, countries uh, were represented at the game. It's an event that attracted many curious Congolese visitors keen to enjoy new forms of entertainment. Uh, 
several delegations considered their participation due to the uncertainty over the timely deliveries of the construction sites. Uh, the athletics uh, stadium was only delivered three weeks ago. It must be said that the host countries rose uh, to the challenges and succeeded in organizing uh, and delivering the Francophonie games, obviously with the support of the organizations international of the Francophonie. The popular gathering uh, for progress and the Communist Party of China forged strong ties in a remarkable display of diplomatic pragmatism. It's, uh, the Rassemblement Populaire pour le Progrès, RPP, and the Chinese Communist Party orchestrated a high-level meeting aimed at consolidating their bilateral relations and deepening mutual cooperation under the auspices of a strategic approach. Delegations from both political parties converged with a enlightened uh, dialogue uh, under the leadership of Ilyas Musa Dawale, Secretary General of the Rassemblement Populaire pour le Progrès, and Mr. Razou Rui, Assistant Ministers of the International Department of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China. Indeed, the diplomatic uh, scene proved con conducive to this exchange uh, of ideas and perspectives between the two delegations, revealing a shared desire so to strengthen in the historic ties uh, uniting the two political entities in an immensely courteous and constructive atmosphere welcome the myriad of issues and meet you the importance of those cooperation is uh, the desires of transcend borders and differences to work together toward a common solution is uh, high in the atmospheres of one agreeing uh, to promote regional peace and stability and tackle global challenges together. In his remark, uh, Mr. Zurwi praised the efforts of the Rassemblement Populaire pour le Progrès, RPP, Djibouti's uh, rallying party the promo to promote uh, progress and social development in the countries. The aim of my visit, he declared, is to implement the consensus uh, reached uh, between our two head of state uh, to further strengthen exchanges and cooperation between our two parties and to promote the strategic partnership between our two countries. He added that, that China and Djibouti respect each other as equal, setting a fine example of sincerity, mutual trust, and win-win cooperation. President Xi Jinping and Gilly have met several times uh, under the guidance of our head of state. Uh, he emphasized that mutual political must uh, trust have been uh, has been strengthened and pragmatic cooperation has proved fruitful. Our two countries have stood firmly by, by each other on issues affecting total vital interests and major concerns and have coordinated well on international and regional affairs. The Secretary General of the RPP party, Elias Musa Dawale, said that this major diplomatic event and the Nebula marks a significant milestone in the history of relations between the People's Rally for Progress, RPP, and Communist Party of China, pointing uh, to promising prospects for strengthening and mutual, uh, mutually beneficial collaboration between the two uh, nations. Uh, the importance of uh, close co cooperation to meet these challenges was uh, unanimously underlined, reflecting a, a clear desire to transcend borders and differences uh, to work uh, together towards uh, common solutions. Uh, This uh, morning, the al Wasiatiya Institute hosted a two-day training session for Imam, religious leaders, and educators of the interreligious advocacy guide for the abandonment of female genital mutilation. The initiative uh, aims uh, to accelerate the abandonment of the female genital mutilation in the country. It is part of the national strategy for the total abandonment of uh, all forms of excision, these uh, social mobilization activities saw the participation of several imams and religious leaders from uh, the different parts of the city, including a large number of uh, women and young people. The Minister of Women and Family, in collaboration with the Minister of Muslim Affairs and Working, is uh, conducting outreach discussions aimed at raising awareness in the religious community against the practices of female genital mutilation. The agropastoral uh, perimeters in the Wilma regions are in the production period. 
during this summer summer the Weima Basin is a very fertile region with more than a hundred uh, allotments uh, operated by private individuals producing, uh, producing significant quantities of vegetables and fruit, uh, notably they eat uh, papayas. Uh, some families grow uh, fold fooders uh, uh, to feed uh, their livestock in the summer today, despite the difficult cultural transitions uh, from uh, the herders to farmer, agridaf members uh, tend to combine these two activities uh, with the varying degree self taxes. Uh, the regional agricultural potential is demonstrating uh, is demonstrated every day by the production of a variety of market gardens and fruit products demonstrating the richness of this land. This has been naturally encouraged by the presence of waters in the region. As a result, Agridaf would like to declare that agriculture is possible in Djibouti, the proof in the Dafina to Giruri area. Dozens of gardens are tended uh, to by members of the Agri Daf Association, uh, uh, made up uh, of the local families such as uh, the village chief Hassan Yani in Giruri, and young people who have jobs so, but also work of the land such as Ali Adabo, the members uh, have uh, created a cooperative to develop uh, agriculture in the Wilma regions, particularly in the locality of uh, Gaurada, Finaitu and Giruri. In this sector, agropastoralism was uh, introduced uh, to the local uh, population by pioneers uh, such as the late Ali Afkada, Ismail Ahmed, Ahmed Yusuf and Ibrahim Lubaka. One of the region's wise men, currently the village chief of Giruri, Hassan Yani, stressed the importance of working the land in the Wilma region, which is uh, very fertile. He emphasized that the population used to work the land, but thanks to a few pioneers, Wilma families are uh, turning to agro-pastoral farming, which is already producing good results. Productions of guava fruit is up uh, sharply this year, while vegetables such as onion, tomatoes, and green chilies have uh, grown uh, strongly. In addition, date palm production is very high this year in the Fenaitu and Giruri, which started this activity several years ago. The president of the Agridaf Cooperative, Mr. Ali Adabo, who recalls the commitments of the population of the Daphne to Giruri sector located in the Wilma Basin, the objective for members is to produce local, uh, locally consumed products instead of importing them in order to guarantee food security. The other objective is to produce or further to feed the livestock and boost milk production. Following the successful organizations of the Regional Table Tennis Championship by our countries in March 2023, international referee Mohamed Sige Subban, who was uh, the competition director, was in invited to the International Table Tennis Federation to attend a senior management training course in China in the city of uh, Shangza in Hunan. Uh, province. The aim of this training is to acquire the skills that needed to organize Top level competition is up first for our regions and uh, demonstrations for our superiority in the regions and our continent. Uh, this training opportunities in China is the fruit of the support of the President of the Republic for the promotions of sports and the commitment of the State Secretary for Sports, Hassan Mohammed Kamin, who since taking office has undertaken major projects and given great importance to the development of sports facilities. Mr. Mohamed Sige, international table tennis referee, has already refereed the uh, uh, garbled uh, competitions at the regional and continental levels. Mohamed Sige, table tennis referee, is today among the elite in the referees and the organizations of competitions. For the international scene of flooding in Slovenia and southern Austria, flooding and landslides in southern Austria and Slovenia, rescue operations are continuing. The army has been uh, uh, deployed uh, red alert in Slovenia. Rainfall in recent days has caused the landslides and flooding in several regions of the country. This includes uh, the town of uh, Selje, 
some 100 uh, kilometers from the capital uh, Jubiljana. Uh, 4,000 people have been evacuated. Rescue operations are continuing. These people have died in the last 24 hours uh, in weather-related incidents, said police spokesman Maja Adsik. Uh, Two foreign tourists were found lifeless uh, in a mountainous region affected by storms and the bodies of a woman was found in a flooding area. She added, without giving further details, the European Commissioner for Crisis Management, Janice uh, Lenarsic, uh, warns that several European countries will face extreme weather over the next few days. And to close up this edition, in Lebanon commemorates the explosions of the port of Beirut. At the call of the victims' family, collective demonstrators wished marched to the port where they observed a minute of silence at 6.7 p.m. The exact times of the explosion is on August 4, 2020. 2020, one of the largest non-nuclear explosions in the history, devastating entire entire district uh, of the capital, killing over 220 people and injured more than 6,500 people. At the call of the victims' families collective, which has been fighting tirelessly for three years to demand justice, Lebanese Mark Marshed. Uh, to the port, a minute silence was observed at 6.7 p.m. The exact times of the explosion is, uh, we will not forget uh, the blood of the martyrs chanted. The demonstrators, some dressed in black, uh, brandy shine, and a huge Lebanese flag stained uh, with the red paints and uh, bearing photo of the victims. Uh. And this is it for the news. Thanks for watching us. Have a good uh, evening.